The project is one of President Tinubu's renewed hope signature projects to connect states across the country. The meeting discussed alignment of sections 3B and 4 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. According to the Ministry of Works, the overall span of the highway is 700 kilometers and Aquaibon states will benefit from 107 kilometers. Let me assure you, like I've mentioned to you, a number of projects that Mr. President is doing here. I will get him very serious with our uh, contractors. And let me use the opportunity to say that every contractor that wants to continue the games as before, we're going to terminate the project and we're going to reaward it. And uh, we are going to do everything to encourage local contractors. The president of the Senate highlights the economic impact of the projects to the state when awarded. The question then is, how are our people going to benefit during the construction period? Have you asked yourself that question? So there will be a lot of fallout. I will not discuss in the open because I expect a lot of subcontractors to come from our Aquaibon. Governor of Aquaibon State, Uno Eno, pledged total cooperation of the state to the success of the project. Let me also assure you in conclusion that we will cooperate with you at any time and in whichever way you want so that we can actualize the vision of Mr. President on this coastal road. Other stakeholders express excitement about the project. The reality is that it will open up Aquaibom to the resources that we have in our seashore. We are very happy for what the president of the country has done for approving that coastal road. Rebecca Goffey, reporting for BTV News.